nice Palm Springs day, but I got a air conditioned sound and really weird. Hot lines cold. Cold lines cold also. I have a feeling this this one's overcharged. Grab my gauges and the recovery tank. Okay, this one I suspect is overcharged. The unit turned off so it reached temperature, but up our deal like normal, our yellow service line. It's going to go to the deal here. Open the line. Open the tank. And then we're going to hook up the red to the high side. Support the our gloves for that frostbite. We'll hook everything up and then we'll purge. Important to purge everything. Definitely going to be high. All right, and we'll wait for it to kick on. This one should kick on pretty soon. And I'm going to check some other ones while I wait for that. Yay, I just need turned on. So let's see what we're reading. Oi. Definitely, definitely too high. See how it's, and now it's swinging back. So, okay, so, purge, 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 and we're too high on the low side too. So, we're just gonna open the high side and let it go into the, into the deal. And we're just gonna go a little at a time. And we're gonna watch I'm gonna see what temperature we're at outside. Now we dropped to about 40 on the low side. That's more in line. Let's see what temperature we are outside. Okay, so let's see what, what temperature are we here. Let me get a read. It's definitely way more than 50 degrees so look at that view i've never seen it this green uh this late in the year and have snow on the mountains this late in the year let's see if my 
deal will cooperate here. Come on, buddy. Get the signal. My guess is it's about 80 degrees, so this should be about 110 on that high side. I still think we're just a little bit. I'm gonna have to reload this again. It's just saying, okay, 67 is what it says, but it feels warmer than that. So ambient plus 30 would be around 100. Again, I, th I think we're a little bit high. So I'm just gonna take out, it's sounding a lot better though. Remember how it was like fluctuating back and forth and the compressor was turning off. So I think we're gonna bring it down to right around 100. And you can see our low side is staying right around there. So you just kind of got to take the time with it. This one's stupid me. I, uh, I overcharged it. I jumped the gun. And, and uh, what happened, and, and I should have checked that more first, I heard the unit running. I knew that it was running and heard the loud noise coming from the AC. Well, I jumped and thought because it was frozen that it was low on refrigerant. And then, my, of course, my readings were off because what happened was the blower wheel had come apart and uh, well, live and learn, you know. I hate making mistakes, but I am pursuing excellence and, uh, you know, just so the lesson learned is don't jump the gun. Don't pre-assume that it is what you think it is. And it's fine to think a little bit ahead, but you gotta, you gotta check everything. Check for dirty filter, or check for dirty coil, check for broken fan blades or malfunctioning fan, check the capacitors. So it seems more balanced out. Again, the unit's not failing like it was. It's nice and cold. We're at about 40 and about 108. Yeah, and I accidentally overcharged this one. But got my recovery tank, recovery machine if needed, can balance it out. We're now about 105 and about 39 degrees. We're looking great on this unit. Recovering that refrigerant goes pretty quick. I'm gonna stop about there and leave it running and then come back and check it. And it may reach temperature, but I've got it turned off. I'm up on this roof working on preventative maintenance and I found a fan motor bad, so I'm gonna get after that. It's just gonna be about as good as it's gonna get to work on these units and keep things going. So you can see it's about 105 now. I'm about right where I wanna be on this unit. Nice and cold. This compressor sounds much better. All right. Go ahead and detach this. Detach our high side. Cap with our O-ring. And now we'll recover our refrigerant on our high side, so we'll open this side up. Now we'll go ahead and feed that liquid back into the low side. Beautiful. And now our unit is sound and very nice. 
nice and tough. Okay, refrigerant's recovered from my high side. Detach the low side. Nothing's leaking. Everything's nice and cool. All right, where do we want this puppy to be? Good deal. Now I'll release the refrigerant so I don't leave anything trapped in my hoses. Good to go. A quick search of my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs and links to tools and parts used in the videos can be found in the descriptions below.